Hi, welcome dear students to second video of chapter 9. Hope all of you are in a good health. Today I am going to discuss about advantages of internet and disadvantages of internet. Previous class I explained about introduction of internet, birth of internet, what is www, websites and web pages. URL and the process. Now let us discuss one by one the advantages of computer. First one, education on internet. So education is one of the best thing that the internet can provide. So there are number of books, reference book, online help, health centers, experts, views, and other study-oriented materials on the internet. So there are lots and lots of websites which are related to the different topics. You can visit them and can gain endless amount of knowledge that you wish to have. With the use of internet for the education, you are no longer dependent on some other person to come and teach you there can't be any excellent use of the internet other than the education as it is the key to achieve everything. So we can uh, say uh, it's a great source of uh, a study and uh, we have uh, numerous uh, study materials available online and uh, can see the yeah, not only we are talking about the PDF, we have various videos, uh, online teaching. You are so education on internet is one of the best thing that the internet can provide. Education is one of the best thing. Now we're going to discuss the advantages. Promote your products. You know. Internet is one of the best and cheapest way to promote your business or products starting from a, a minimum price. You can already have your own website and start reaching your potential customers. So you can also use the multiply of multiply or blogger if you don't want to spend money for your website. So we can simply promote our business using the internet. No, uh, social media platform we can uh, using the email uh, cheapest shows and uh, blogging we can say various using the website we can promote our business and uh, e-business so e-business when talking about the advantages you can see the e-commerce like this, how simply you can select product you can uh, do payment through the bank, online banking, and uh, we can just manage the things uh, easily. It's a deal. We can uh, deal. We can meeting um, and meeting online conferencing. No, so it's a very simple. We're talking about the business. It helps you to arrange your meeting a webinar you can so say and uh, now the, we have another advantage is uh, social networking you cannot ignore uh, you know the how we you easily connect with your friends family and organize and using the social uh, media uh, you can uh, it's help you to aware the society with the society and uh, various media Social network plays a great role and uh, making money. You can also make money using the internet, blogs, ads, logo, web, and YouTube, YouTube various uh, sources of earning you can generate money through the online. Health, we are talking about the health sectors, e-medicine, e-doctor, consultant, emergency health is also very good. And uh, we can uh, not ignore the importance of the e-health. 
So now we are going to discuss the disadvantages. Other hand, we have uh, advantages, many advantages. Similarly, we have also uh, some disadvantages. So now discuss about disadvantages. Uh, that is the theft of personal information. If you use the internet for online banking, social networking, or other services, you know you may risk a theft to your personal information such as name, address, credit card. In, in number it is so people can access this information through unsecured connections or a pink software and then use your personal details for your their benefit it lays to say this may land you in serious trouble so definitely one uh, it saves your time you can pay online uh, you know online simply within a few steps you can say but there is also the other hand it has disadvantages there may be chances of uh, theft yes we cannot ignore the day. now spamming a spamming refers to spending unwanted emails which serve the purpose and needlessly obstruct the computer system such illegal activities can be very frustrating as it makes store to access your email account and make the entire service unreliable for the customer consumer you know sometimes you get a uh, various messages in your inbox you know, send the spam folder you know so uh, various what is the purpose the purpose uh, just the you just uh, they want to promote their business okay also you get the as spam uh, get, get some uh, threats, you know, threatening, or we can say it's, uh, you get the, once you click over the email attachment and uh, there is chances of virus spreads. So it is ad advised to just use the, it is better to use the antivirus software, just go through the, uh, just scan the antivirus software, scan the attachment only once you find there is no, no, uh, Threats only just try to open. So uh, spamming is also uh, uh, disadvantages we can say, and uh, it harms your computer. You will not able to access the computer as you expect. Virus threats we cannot ignore the threatening of the virus threats. So internet users are often plugged by virus attacks on their system. Yes. So virus programs and are uh, in Consists fierce, consists PCS and may get activated if you click a uh, seemingly harmless link. Yes, definitely you must uh, uh, check uh, using the antivirus. So computers connected to the internet are very far to target virus, targeted virus attack and may and oh yes. So this is a way when your internet is connected with your uh, connected internet, then we create chances of uh, you know, uh, virus attacks. So you must have a proper antivirus attached, proper antivirus, and must be updated over. So this is a great risk when we uh, using the virus attacks. And uh, I hope I'll be able to understand to explain the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. Thanks for watching the video and bye for now. See you in the next class. Have a